um, uh, anything that comes, even if it seems to come late, I think is is coming in, in time to somehow uh, cast a shadow over over his decision making, his initial plan, and uh, the spirit behind why he's carrying this out. Okay, finally, Pat Singleton, Endowed New Catholic President. Okay. I just wanted to say uh, I very much on behalf of myself, St. Patrick's Parish, and all the parishes who are um, either closed or slated to close uh, in the Cleveland Catholic Diocese. We very much appreciate uh, the civic leaders coming forward and supporting us. Evidently, they know the value of, uh, of our churches, and our churches are, are, uh, have helped build the city. I know St. Pat's, for instance, was the first, uh, it's the oldest parish in Cuyahoga County, and that's being slated to close Sunday. But, you know, our, our buildings, um, you know, our works of art, they show uh, where the city has been, and we were hoping where the city will go in the future with the, uh, with the, the architecture, with the story of Cleveland. And, uh, you know, there are many different ethnic uh, churches throughout the city of Cleveland. I mean, that, that, is who, that is who Cleveland is, or what Cleveland is, is all those different um, nationalities who settled here, who grew here, who raised their families here. And um, it would be quite a shame for those churches to be destroyed because they weren't landmarked. And um, we, we need it. We need more civic leaders to step up to the plate. Um, I don't know what they're afraid of, but they need to do it, especially if they live in Cleveland. Thank you. Thank you. I'm from uh, St. Casimir, <coughs> parishioners, and I want to end this rally here with a prayer. You know, Sunday was Pentecost, and what happened on Pentecost, everyone knows what happened. The Holy Spirit came about down upon the disciples, and he gave them courage, and that courage gave them the power to get out there and evangelize. This is what has happened to all the Catholics in Cleveland. Hungarians, Irish, black, we all got to know each other because of Bishop Lennon. We want to thank Bishop Lennon. I would have not known all these other Catholics in Cleveland. We love you, Joe. I would have not known all these beautiful churches, and our city will be destroyed because of him. But, you know, we got to, you know, we're little, right? We're like uh, David fighting Goliath. He has all the big uh, law firms tying everything up, exhausting us. But what we have one thing behind us. We have Jesus behind us. We trust in Jesus. And, and that's our devotion. It says we trust in Jesus. And our devotion is the divine mercy of Jesus. And it says, Jesus, I trust you, you, and we all trust in Jesus. Here's our prayer from the divine mercy of Jesus. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. These Catholics have done that, and that's why we're here, and that's why we're not giving up ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody. I think we had a good word here today. Thank you. God bless America. Land. Land.